Hello lovely people. Today I brought you some items, uh, brought some items with me and I want to show you a little bit or to try to explain a little bit about Northwest Coast Art and uh, their fakes. Why? Because I know a lot of, uh, there are a lot of unknowing people and not serious people and um, fraudulent people that try to trick you and to tell to to sell you items lookalikes that are not original the point is for for example a garden decor or so a reproduction from uh, the philippines might be okay why not but it's difficult when you think of it might be an original so I want to show you some, some items, some also things behind so that you can see the difference and that you're not tricked anymore in when you buy some, some art and you think that might be an original. So I have got here two totem poles or better one totem pole and one lookalike. Which one do you guess is the fraud? This one. This one here is made in the uh, Philippines and it's not original, made by a native artist. Northwest Coast artist. This one here is an older one, maybe 1980s, 70s, whatever, something around that. This was in, or is an original one um, and I want to tell you a bit about it. So. Um, first of all, look at the designs. The designs here, the A's for example, they are much more clear in this one. This one is a very high quality. So don't be fooled, but even if it's a cheaper version, it's also, the, the, the lines are very clearly defined. What you don't have here, this is a flat, something very flat, that's not commonly made with originals. So. Look at the designs. Then this brownish color is, nah, I don't know. You see, when you see the bay at the base, you see they are just nailed on. And this one is, as I said, a higher quality. But I had a lot of others before, but I sold them off. That we had simply a stem of uh, a tree or whatever. And on this stem base, the, the actual carved totem pole was simply also just nailed on very cruelty this does not mean that it's if it's or show if it's an original or not even an originals this is done the same way but when you see at the back you have a look at the back here you see this one is signed and even here is also the shop uh, stamped on so you can also take Google and you will find the artist, for example, and you will get an information about. With these um, Indonesian ones, you don't have this. I never have seen it. Then is something that's the wood. You will see that um, it's, it's not so simple to see. You see here with all these tree lines you see um, that there are little, little, I would say little holes inside the wood and this is typical for the Indonesian ones we've got also a mask here and here you see it also very clearly I try to show you you see there are really holes inside within these uh, tree rounds here you, you see it and you, you, you see it, you feel it. This is not Native American made. This is not cedar. So when you have an original one, um, the, the tree lines are much, much closer. You see here, for example, you see that they're very, very fine lines and you don't see these holes. This one, this here is not original, but this poor little thingy, had so much destructions because somebody used it very well um, that it was repaired over and over again. And you see inside, you see, oops, 
also it's, it's signed here inside in this case with a, with a pencil and you can watch for the artist simply take Google or artist books and whatever they should be some published work about them and they even uh, write down where they are coming from and so on and you see in the book you see all these just these fine lines and never these little little holes inside in the in the wood so um, and you see here you see also that, that this all this painting is very clear it's uh, extremely well made you don't see this here on these items as I said these are very well could be very well used for garden decor why not where it, it does not matter if uh, it's simply weathered and whatever so but for real good artwork the garden is not the best place <laughs> so this and then mm -hmm. here i have a, a, a wolf rattle that's also from the northwest coast and you see it's it's also signed and you see also these very fine closed lines in the wood also at the nose i hope it's it's possible to see it and then in tourist towns you also have other stuff where you you, you are confronted with as a tourist but um, I simply want to show it to you. This one from from the far away it also looks very authentic. But this here is and there are many companies like Woma for example. Here's nothing st does not nothing stay on it but uh, you sometimes see uh, on the on the black totem poles and so on you see Woma for example made in Canada. This is a resin and this here is like a foam. It's simply a carving and then somebody made a, made a mold and then it's also with this spray foam whatever um, filled and so it's not an actual carved item but it's a reproduction from a carved item. And you see it when you have a look at these, these uh, small this is a wooden part here, but here on the on these on this black, you will see that it's a foam. Mm -hmm. You see it. So, and as I said, it's 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 made in a in a mold, and it's uh, even what what looks really um, important and really expensive here these abalone pieces, but this is just tourist art, and you, it's also very lightweight for a large piece of wood yeah um, don't get tricked this is what I why I wanted to make this little clip here I wanted to show you something about it where you can in a very simple way spot on if it's a fake or an original when you buy something for yourself I want to take a souvenir with you or whatever try to save a little bit of money and buy an original item from a native artist you artist you have a single piece even if it's a little bit more expensive if you just look for a cheap garden decor or whatever then something like the indonesian st stuff might be okay i take it I, i'm uh, renting out um, native american um, decor for movies and so on and when somebody asks me for a, shaman tippy and whatever where I, I know that the stuff is staying outside for a long time then I take these ones and if they fall down and break it's not the problem and that is why I use this Indonesian Indonesian stuff on certain occasions so but for artwork for collecting something like this 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 year and something like this hawk mask is the better choice so yeah hope you learned something and it hope it was a little bit of interest and um, see you maybe hopefully goodbye